Rotax stops production of the 582 UL aircraft engine. What does this mean for ultralight and light sport aviation? And what engine options remain for aircraft owners and builders? The reason Rotax gave for stopping production was the nearly full transition of the light and ultralight aircraft market towards four-stroke engines. The article goes on to state that almost 100% of the customers demand four-stroke aircraft engines, a demand that we can definitely fulfill with our range of four-stroke engines. I'm not sure about this 100% demand for four-stroke engines. But more importantly, I don't see how Rotex's four-stroke engine range fulfills the demand that the 582 did. Here's why. The Rotex 912 UL is significantly heavier than the 582, weighing in at 67 kilograms or 147 pounds, compared to the 582's 48 kilograms or 106 pounds. That's quite a difference, especially on ultralights, which are very weight sensitive. The heavier 912 might be suitable for some light sport aircraft, but certainly not all ultralights. The most significant reason, however, why I don't see the 912 replacing the 582 is its purchase cost. Depending on where you buy it, exchange rates, etc., you can get the 912 for around 17,000 US dollars compared to less than six thousand dollars for a 582 the cost of a 912 is a huge barrier to entry into affordable aviation this leaves us in a bit of a quandary so that sort of puts us in a quandary doesn't it but before we start panicking just a quick reality check even with the stop in production of the 582 they will still be available as long as stocks at dealers last and after that you'll still be able to get a used one for a long time to come after all, Rotax stopped production of the 503 UL in 2011 and you still see them around from time to time even if they are starting to disappear. But eventually the 582 too will go the way of the dodo. So what does this mean for ultralight and light sport aviation? Well the first reaction by many was to look at Hearth's two-stroke aircraft engines. Admittedly, I've never come across a Hearth engine in my life that I know of. The 35 series on paper looks like it may be a suitable replacement, making 70 horsepower or 60 horsepower. I'm not quite sure as both numbers are stated on the same webpage. 60 horsepower may be a bit low for some light sport aircraft. Besides that, I feel like there might be a bit of an oversight by looking at Hearth as a replacement. If Rotax stopped production of the 582 due to a decline in interest in two-stroke engines, why would we look at another two-stroke engine as a replacement? Well, with questionable interest in other two-stroke engines and the high cost of Rotax's four-stroke engines, what options are left? There's options. Like what? The most future-proof option may be electric. And in all likelihood, this will be the future of light aircraft. But at this stage, electric aircraft have miserable endurance. So unless you only ever want to fly around the patch for 30 minutes before needing a recharge, this option will likely not be suitable in the next few years. In addition, I also believe that until there is sufficient competition in the electric aircraft engines and batteries market that they will be fairly expensive. Okay, so back to reciprocating engines thing. An engine I've had my eye on for a while is the Yamaha Phaser. Weighing in at about 92 pounds or 42 kilograms and outputting about 80 horsepower, the most surprising thing is it's a four-stroke engine. A few problems exist here though. Number one is it's not an aircraft engine. So you'll have to buy a Yamaha Phaser snowmobile to get your hands on one of these engines. Also, with the engine turning in excess of 10,000 RPM, you'll need a reduction drive gearbox to slow it down as a propeller cannot turn anywhere near that speed. This means you'll need a custom adapter plate manufactured to be able to fit a standard gearbox. There are at least one company now offering adapter plates for the Yamaha Phaser, but there are other problems though. Even though this engine has been redneck tested, as you say in America, there's no way to know how reliable they will be on aircraft until they have run for tens of thousands of flying hours. With all this in mind, even though it really looks like a very promising engine, if you can get your hands on one, 
I don't see it replacing the Rotax 582 mainstream. But it isn't all doom and gloom. Not long before Rotax announced the stop of production of the 582, something else happened. What? Did something happen? What? Yamaha, in partnership with Shen Meiwa, announced its entry into the small aircraft market. With Yamaha adapting its small engine technology and Shen Meiwa with aircraft engineering expertise, this is definitely something to be excited about. So excited! At the time of recording, no additional news has come of this after the initial announcement. But assuming they will produce light sport aircraft with engines outputting around 80 horsepower, it will fit snugly in the current gap in the market for light, affordable four stroke aircraft engines outputting around 70 to 80 horsepower. Since this is all still in the research phase, I don't recommend holding your breath for more news on this for some time. But do look forward to it. Do hit like if you made it this far into the video, and see you in the next one.